First, I want to say, you know, what do you think are the biggest misconceptions that people have about the shy? And the shy or the, shy? Oh, the city? Well, the city, Chicago. Oh, okay, what do you think the biggest mis misconceptions that people have about Chicago? I think the biggest misconception is that we're all hooligans, you know what I mean? Just running around, being crazy and all that. The truth is, it's like no black boy was born with a gun in his hand. Mm. You know, no black boy was born, you know, wearing a bandana. It's like, it's about how life affects everyone. And also, too, and if a little boy do got a gun in his hand, a bandana in his back pocket, don't mean his life isn't as valid as a kid with like books and is like, you know, got glasses on. To me, it's no such thing as a good kid or a bad kid. We all good kids. It just depends on what city you were born into. So for me, you know, let's be it less judgy and let's really embrace each other because at the end of the day, you never know where that kid can go. Absolutely. Yeah. So I wanted to know, you know, I know you're all South Side. Yeah. But I have to ask you, are you Uncle Remus or are you Harold? Here's the thing. I'm Harold's only because that's what my family chose. Like I grew up on it. Like that was I grew up came out the womb had a you know a wing in my hand. There she is. <laughs> Look at this guy. When somebody makes a story of uh of Dick Gregory's life, we gotta we gotta cast him. Oh, this is one of the writers, Dom Davis. Yeah, one of the writers. She's brilliant. Okay, so now that you're here. I'm oh, now that you're up. here. You messed up. I, no. I asked I asked your character Emmett. I wanted to know. I don't know if I'm digging too deep. I, I don't know if I'm digging too deep. Go in, go in. I'm ready for the deep. Is, is, is his name honoring Emmett Till? Wow. I mean, do you want to answer that? There but I think it should come from. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. If you're a black kid in Chicago, you can't get more than five years old without knowing the legacy of Emmett Till. So I want people to know, like, that's who I am as an artist. Yes. I'm speaking his name so that way it'll never be forgotten. He may have died, but he didn't die in vain. He was a sacrificial lamb so that we could be free. Yes. Let's hold him up and let's make sure, you know, his mother, his ancestors all know that he died for a reason. And he didn't have to die. And he was a little boy from Chicago. And, you know, his legacy lives on. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.